Now let me show you how you can be more consistent with your approach shot and hit a much better one. So the secret sauce is this, three simple tips. Tip one is actually swing low to high. So it sounds simple, but the idea is when you actually swing low to high is you actually import more spin onto the ball to make that ball dip down. So when you swing up, you generate spin to make that ball dip down. But that alone is not good enough. So just swinging low to high is not what's really gonna make that ball spin. Instead, combine it with tip number two, and that's this. As you drop the racket and you get under that ball, try to keep your strings facing downwards as you're down here. The reason is, when you are swinging up to contact, once you're at contact, your strings should be facing forward, because that's the big difference. So when your strings are facing forward, I'm able to brush up, making that ball dip down. If I just swing up with my racket face facing upwards, I'm gonna hit up, and that ball is not gonna spin down. So you have to swing low to high to, to be able to generate spin, but you have to combine that with keeping your racket face closed as you're dropping the racket and then making sure you're facing forward at contact. Now those two simple tips alone will allow you to generate more spin to make that ball dip quicker. However, for most players, especially at the club level that I see, adding more spin really isn't the main solution. Instead, try this. You have to pick a target, an air target over the net. And I see a lot of players, they aim in the same spot whether they're up here or back there. Now from baseline to baseline, straight ahead, you have 78 feet of court to hit into. Now as we get closer here, that starts to shrink. And the general rule of thumb is, the higher over the net you hit, the deeper that ball will go. So when you're further back, you wanna aim higher. When you're moving closer, you wanna aim lower. So as you come up, as you hit your approach shot, combine tips one and two, more low to high, keep your racket face closed so that way you're able to generate more spin to make that ball stay in. However, really try to also aim lower over the net. And guess what? The pros are doing the same thing. Now chances are they have a lot more spin than you and I, but they also aim lower over the net to not miss long. And that's often the most common place I see a lot of club players miss. So make sure low to high, keep your rack face close before contact and aim lower over that net. So what I like to do is I typically like to aim six to 12 inches above the net as I'm coming in for an approach shot and typically at least three to four feet when I'm at the baseline or behind the baseline. Now, that number can change a little bit when you add spin. The more spin you have, the higher you can aim. But if, you don't, if you're not a player who uses a lot of spin, go ahead and just aim a little bit lower. Now these three simple tips are gonna definitely help you level up your approach chat. Now let me show you a drill that you can perform at home. Now first, go ahead and check out the Top Spin Pro in the description below if you like. It's a great tool to really allow you to generate more spin and it's gonna show you how to do that with the right angle of attack, if you will. So super great tool to level up your, your game. You can do the same thing though, with or without it. You can just drop a ball for yourself and really try and practicing hitting lower over that net. So just go ahead and grab a bucket of balls. You should really film yourself when you do that and you can really kind of see how high you're hitting over the net and if they're going in or not and how you have to adjust. So, and just as a side note, if you're swinging, if you're hitting the ball slower, you don't have to aim as low because the ball won't go as far, but definitely as you're swinging faster and faster, you do want to try to add more spin to the shot and aim lower to make that ball stay in. But like I said, go ahead and try this drill out at home, drop a few balls, go ahead and hit that approach shot, practice on the Top Spin Pro, link in the descri uh, description below. You, to you totally help me out if you go ahead and check it out, I appreciate it. Now you should click this video next to improve your game even more and learn how to be consistent from the back of the court.